It all started with a dream behind the hangar of Shunyang Aircraft Corporation, the AVIX subsidiary that has produced such legends as the J-11 and J-16. In the early 2010s, they were quietly preparing a project that was little known to the public. The FC-31 Jurfalcon, a fifth-generation stealth jet born not from a military order, but from the determination of engineers who wanted to prove that China could rival the F-35. The initial goal was simple, yet bold to deliver a fighter jet comparable to the F-35 at a lower cost and with greater export flexibility. When the FC-31 prototype first took off on October 31, 2012, the international defense community was stunned. China, once known as a follower, was now demonstrating the potential to become a challenger. Unlike the single-engine F-35, the FC-31 relies on two jet engines, offering greater power and increased safety. This combination earned it the nickname Dark Horse in the global stealth fighter arena. However, despite its promise, the FC-31 was initially considered immature by the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAF. Ironically, it was the People's Liberation Army Navy plan that saw its potential as the backbone of its future aircraft carrier. And that's where a new story begins. When the FC-31 was accepted as a carrier candidate, Shunyang engineers undertook a major overhaul. The design wasn't just polished, it was completely re-engineered from the ground up. The J-35 was born. China's first carrier-based fifth-generation stealth fighter. Every detail is optimized to survive in extreme maritime environments. The landing gear is reinforced, the wings are made foldable, and the aircraft structure is lightened for more efficient storage in carrier hangars. Even the avionic system is now directly linked to the Type 003 Fujian aircraft carrier, which uses electromagnetic gliding emails technology comparable to that of American carriers. The J-35 is no longer an experimental project, it is now an integral part of China's naval power. With the ability to take off from a ship's deck, the aircraft is capable of carrying out long-range air missions, from precision strikes and air patrols to strategic reconnaissance. In Beijing's grand strategy, the J-35 symbolizes a shift in orientation from land defense to open sea dominance. The J-35's true advantage lies in its ability to disappear from radar. Its design adopts a futuristic delta shape with trapezoidal air intakes that conceal the engine blades, a small but vital detail to reduce radar reflection. Its surface is coated with radar-absorbent material RAM, a special material that absorbs radar waves, making the aircraft appear like a shadow in the sky. Hidden behind the aircraft's nose is an electro-optical targeting system, EOTS, which allows pilots to detect enemies without turning on radar. This means the J-35 can see without being seen a significant advantage in modern warfare. The cockpit also reflects the future. Full digital displays, a helmet-mounted display, HMD, and a real-time data integration system. All of this makes the pilot not just a controller, but part of a network-centric warfare ecosystem, where the J-35 is directly connected to ground radars, aircraft carriers, and surveillance drones. But despite all its advantages, the engine remains the J-35's biggest weakness. Early versions still relied on the Russian-made RD-93 engine, which wasn't fully suited to the demands of a fifth-generation stealth aircraft. China is now developing the WS-19 engine, a successor to the WS-13, which is expected to produce around 9 tons of thrust per unit. If the WS-19 is stable and efficient, the J-35 could achieve supercruise, flying supersonic without afterburners of feet, currently achieved only by the F-22 and F-35. 
Additionally, the hexagonal tail design would help reduce its infrared heat signature, making it even more difficult for heat-guided missiles to track. But China's real challenge lies not in paper specifications, but in long-term reliability. China's jet engine industry is still maturing, and until the WS-19 is proven in real combat, the J-35's potential will still have to be fully realized. Amid rising geopolitical tensions, the J-35 is becoming more than just a combat tool, but a political one. The South China Sea is now an arena where air and naval forces are testing each other. With its stealth capabilities and extended range, the J-35 allows Chinese aircraft carriers to operate far from land, giving them unprecedented strategic flexibility. When combined with the DF-21D anti-ship missile and long-range radar system, the J-35 forms part of an anti-axis area denial A2AD, strategy, a doctrine designed to prevent foreign fleets, particularly those of the United States, from approaching waters claimed by China. Furthermore, indications that the J-35 may have an export version open a new chapter in global competition. If other countries begin operating this aircraft, the U.S. military market dominance of the F-35 could be seriously challenged. The J-35 is not just an aircraft, but a manifestation of national ambition. In a short time, China has leapfrogged from dependence on Russian technology to self-reliance in designing modern stealth jets. From electronic systems and aerodynamic design to the weapons supply chain, everything is now under Beijing's control. Moreover, the J-35 reflects a shift in China's military philosophy from defensive to offensive, from defense to global power projection. They now seek to control more than just their borders and the wider skies and seas. For many observers, the J-35 Jurfalcon is more than just a new jet tits, a symbol of the rise of Asian air power. It's a bold statement that America's era of sole air dominance is beginning to face real challenges. But, the big question remains, is the J-35 truly capable of matching the F-35 in modern warfare, or is it just an untested stealth fantasy? Time will tell, but one thing is certain, the Pacific skies are now a stage for a two-way battle between the two great powers, and the J-35 stands at the forefront of that story.